Hi guys and thanks for watching again. Today I will be taking a look at this dyno torch and inside of course or hand crank lamp or whatever it's called. In the Netherlands we call this a knijpkat uh, which literally, literally translate into squeeze cat. Yeah I know that's that animal with four legs. Very furry animal. And I own this device for quite some years now but they are still widely available from eBay. And the working of this device is quite simple and clever at the same time. When I unlock this device, some lever slides out, which I then can squeeze like this. And it makes an awful noise, but it works perfectly when you have no power at hand, of course. And this device is a, a little outdated because today, well, everyone has a cell phone which can act as a lantern also. Or a power bank with an LED, of course. And when I squish this device, this small gear inside gets rotated, which is attached to this large gear. And of course that rotates very, very fast. And it drives this, this other wheel, which contains some plastic parts which get pushed outside because of the centrifugal power of that wheel. And as you can see, well, I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it on, on camera. Um, those several, um, that, that wheel contains several indents in which these plastic parts can hook into. And this is necessary, necessary because this, this wheel needs to keep spinning in, in one direction while this, this plastic part rotates back. Let's see. So now it can freely rotate back while there's this main wheel which drives the generator stands still. So and inside this main wheel are probably some magnets which create a magnetic field each time they pass a coil with a metal core. And this magnetic energy is then transformed into electrical energy by some windings of copper wire. And my guess is that the electric energy is gen then just being sent directly through the LEDs straight uh, and straight to the LEDs via a simple transistor. Uh, and now I'm making a mess. A resistor <laughs> uh, in instead of using a power regulator or rectifier and I think that because when I squish it let, is, let me see if I can demonstrate that the LEDs get all flickery when I squish it so my guess it's just halfway uh, it's just lighting halfway of the, of the, the, the sine, sine wave which this generator generates now the only thing where I'm really curious about is if this hand crank also charges the battery inside because there's a nice little switch on here which just turns on the LEDs. So does this power the battery inside? Let's take it to pieces. And I'm afraid that once I get it open, all parts fly out and I can never get it back together. But, well, let's see. Oh, that's what I meant. There goes the main spring-loaded lever. Tough little one. Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Well, I turned on the LEDs. Let's see, you know, this one. No, I cannot, of course, not rotate it very fast enough for the, or I need to rotate it the other way around. No, I can never rotate it fast enough for the LEDs to light with my hand, so. 
Yeah, these are, these are not spring loaded, so the only reason they get pushed outside is because of the centrifugal powers. Now, let's see. Yeah, there's the magnet, and then probably there is. Yeah, inside is the coil and these very thin copper wires. So let's see. Uh, can I still turn on the LEDs? Yes, they still work. And the power of this generator goes into this switch. No. Um, so on this, in this setting, they, the LEDs get powered. I mm, must say it correctly. Yeah, so no, the, the batteries do not get charged, um, if I'm correct. Now, this, this switch has just uh, two settings, of course, this one and this one, and the middle one, uh, middle uh, lead of the switch goes to the LEDs, and the left one, uh, do I say that correctly? Yeah, the left one goes to the battery, and the right one goes to the generator so no the batteries do not get charged when squishing this knipe cut that's too bad so um, i guess i'm just lucky that the batteries survived all these years well not too much of a surprise because i haven't probably used this very much so yeah um will i try to get this back together <laughs> no probably not um, Oh well, maybe I'll give it a go, but that won't be very interesting to see on this video. So, that's how a dino torch looks inside. Thanks for watching.